Hi there, friends. It's Miss Tiffany from the Butler Area Public Library, and I am here with another day of Peg Plus Cat Math Camp Monday. Thank you so much for joining me for another week of camp. Today's camp is going to help us learn all about measurement. So the measurements of things help describe them to other people. When you were born, the doctor took your weight and measured your length. These are both different types of measurements. So you may have weighed five pounds or seven pounds, three ounces. You may have been 18 inches long or 20 inches long. Different things have different measurements and different people have different measurements too. Some people are taller and some people are shorter. There are lots of different ways to measure different things. And we are gonna talk about some of those this week. If you haven't had a chance to pick your packet up yet, that is okay. We have them available in the lobby of the library or you can download them from the link in the description of this video. So in your packet, the first thing you'll see is the caregiver letter. And again, we see those little QR codes on the letter. If you scan those QR codes with your phone, it's going to take you to some different resources. And I would like to share them with you right now. The first resource is going to take us to a short video that we can watch called Peg and Cat Fly Over 12 Monkeys. And we're gonna watch just a moment or two. And now for the next trick. Next trick. Our acrobat pair by this one elephant in the air the whole thing to the tent. So length is a unit of measurement that tells you how long something is. And Kat is going to talk about height in this video as well, which is another unit of measurement to tell you how tall something is. If you scan the next QR code, it's going to take you to something that you can play. And this is a game called Scrub a Dub. In this game, you take a look at the size of an animal, and then you have to figure out which bucket and water and soap is the right size to fit that animal. The idea is that the smaller animals need smaller items and the bigger animals need bigger items. So the farmer wants to take a picture of his animals, but look at them, they're totally filthy. Could you help the farmer wash them up till they're all sparkly and clean? First, you need to match the animals to the tubs that are just the right size. Which tub is just right for the chicken? So anytime we're talking about the size of something, we're talking about its measurement. How tall or how wide or how long or how heavy. These are all words that talk about measurement. And for as many different things as there are in the world, there are also that many different ways to measure things. So one of the ways that you can measure something is by using a ruler. And this is Miss Tiffany's ruler. On one side of my ruler, it measures in inches. And on the other side of my ruler, it measures in centimeters. Those are just two different units of measurement. So I can use my ruler to measure anything I want to. I can measure how wide my hand is. If I put my ruler on one side of my hand, I can measure it across. And Miss Tiffany's hand is about three and a half inches wide. Or I could use the centimeter side to measure the same thing or something totally different. I could use the centimeters to measure how tall this book is. So we line it up and this book is 22 centimeters tall. So a ruler is one way to measure something, but there are other ways to measure things depending on what they are. Have any of my friends ever made cookies in the kitchen before? If you have ever made cookies, I am sure that you have had to measure things out in the kitchen, but you didn't use a ruler, right? You probably used some measuring cups like this. 
So measuring cups are often used to measure in cooking. And this cup right here, this is half a cup. So if your recipe for cookies says you need a half a cup of flour, then you would fill this up one time and dump it in your bowl because that's half a cup right there. But really, you can use any one thing to measure something else. So let's say Miss Tiffany wanted to measure a piece of paper, but I didn't have a ruler. I could find something like this marker and I could use it to measure the paper and tell you how many markers long or wide or tall the piece of paper is. So we are going to measure how wide, which means how far across this caregiver newsletter is using my marker. So there is one marker there and not quite a second marker. So this paper is just a little less than two markers wide. When you measure across something like that, it is width or how wide it is. When you measure how far up in the air something goes, that is the height or how tall it is. So these are some of the skills that we're working on this week in math camp. And if you take a look at your packet, you're going to see some activities that are going to help us do that. First of all, we have this little peg plus cat measuring tool. And in this story, you're actually going to use cat as your form of measurement. So remember how Miss Tiffany just measured her paper using the marker? Well, you are going to use cat to measure things around your house. Then, after you're done using cat to measure, you're going to use this chick as your form of measure. So you could compare how many cats long is your bed? How many chicks long is your bed? The activity is going to give you a list of different things for you to measure. And you have to pay attention because it may ask you how many chickens long it is, or it may ask you how many cats long it is, or it may even ask you how many inches long it is. And if you picked up your packet at the library, your packet includes your very own ruler to measure things around your house. Friends, I hope you had fun this week working with measurement at our math camp. Remember, Peg Plus Cat Math Camp Monday is part of our Inquire Within partnership with WQED Education and WQED Pittsburgh and is sponsored by the Center for Community Resources. We really think they measure up. Thanks so much for joining me at camp. I'll see you next week.